Hello YouTubers, Manny here from Manny's How To Workshop and today I'm going to show you how to mount a hand towel bar like this, one of these ring loop ones. Uh, this is an older one, older style, it's wood. Um, they, the ones they sell at the store now are like usually, you know, nickel plated or um, chrome or something like that. But uh, basically, what I had to do before, like I used to hang my little hand towel, like right here on this bar behind the sink. And every time I wash my hands, you know, it, it, always dripping wet uh, water. Well, obviously water is wet. <laughs> dripping water on the floor all over my toilet paper and everything. So I say, you know what, how about if I just, uh, I had this uh, packed away somewhere and I found it, I'm like, oh, you know what, I need to put this on the wall. And so I decided to go ahead and move it right here, uh, right next to, you know, because there's a mirror, there's a sink right there on the left. And it's ideal, you know, you wash, you reach over, grab it, and boom, it's perfect right there. All right. So basically these are uh, pretty simple. I mean, you can use a little level to get this plumb on the wall so that the base is not crooked or whatever, but you can eyeball it too, you know what I'm saying? And basically what I did, I just looked at the the uh, space between this edge and the mirror and knowing that this is my outside wall and it's concrete block, but it has fairing strips on it where they mounted the uh, sheetrock. And I know that on the corners, usually they're gonna have some, they're gonna put some wood there, you know? If not, maybe like one, two, three, four strips. And so I got lucky and I pre-marked uh, pre my uh, spot, by the way. And what I took is a six penny finish nail. And I came in about three inches right there. And I put it right there and I smacked it with a hammer. And of course, and bingo, you know, I hit, uh, I could feel the, the, what do you call it, resistance back there, which feels like wood. And, and I know the feeling because I've done, you know, this type of method uh, before, if you don't have like a stud finder. And I mean, a stud finder would work on this, even though the fairing strip is only three quarter inches thick, it would still uh, beep, you know, because of that void in between each one of them. All right. So like I said, take a six penny nail, punch it. And, you know, I just guesstimated that there would be some wood in here and I got lucky but for you you probably want to use the stud finder or you can use a smaller nail even smaller than this one and you can just try a couple of spots and if it works like if your situation is the same like mine where you got a mirror here and you know a little window there and, you know wherever you hit the wood that's where you can mount your uh your towel holder okay so like I said uh that's my spot that's where the wood is, and all I did was take this, match the center with the hole, and then just moved over until, you know, I felt like it was right over, and then I marked it with a pencil, uh, with a holes wire, and, you know, first I actually made it so that it looked like it was nice um, and vertical, as you can see the spacing, you know, on this side is, is even. And so after that, go ahead and let me set this up real quick. Here we go. Oops, sorry about that. And go ahead and find you, you know, a screw uh, like this one. This is actually a one and a quarter inch uh, sheetrock screw. And the reason for the one and a quarter inch. Uh, I didn't want to go any longer or any shorter because you can see that this is pretty thick. Uh, if I had to guess, it's like half inch. I mean, the hole is a little recessed in there, but still. And then plus you have a half inch of, what do you call it, uh, drywall. And then three quarter inch of furnace trip. So that half inch and three quarters an inch and a quarter plus another quarter inch uh, for this guy, which I figured the recess would be. And that's like, uh, what is that, one and a half? Yeah, one and a half inch. And I figure, well, this screw is going to go in, but it's going to, it's not going to, you know, bottom out, in other words. All right, so put one in there. And what I like to do is just, well, actually, 
back off just a little bit. Uh, let's do that. Back off just a little bit to where this is sticking out uh, a little bit and then put it right on the hole right there. Get it started, let it hang, get the other screw and put it in there like this. Okay. Let's see if we can see that. Yep, right there. And then go ahead and screw it in. And like I said, and with this little um, impact driver, you can tell when you when you got wood because it starts uh, impacting, and that lets you know that yeah, you're in there solid. So, and you got to be careful because this thing is powerful, and you don't want to split the wood either. So, just screw it in until. It's nice and snug, like that. There. Okay, let me set this down. Okay, so now, as you can see, I mean, it's on wood, and this thing is not holding up 50 pounds, okay? And this thing right here, you know, is fine. And like I said, the only thing that it's holding is a little hand towel, like this. Okay? So now, like I said, wash your hands in the sink, reach over, grab the towel, dry your hands, wash your face, same thing, and there you go. That one was you know, quick and simple, and this here I can come back later. I have some wood plugs that I can uh, stain, and then actually don't, ha don't, uh, don't glue it because... Uh, well, if you got one that's metal, they usually have a thing that you can put like a little cap uh, to match. Or it's actually one of those that uh, you put a little plate behind uh, on the wall first, and then you take the the uh, holder and then you slide it over, and there's a little set screw on the bottom, so you don't even see like this. But this one here, I would have to put that little cap, the wood plug, on there on both of them just to hide the screws, which I will eventually. Like I said, just color, and then you just push it in there. That's it, because later on, if you want to take this off or replace it with a new one, you know, which I'm going to do is to upgrade this bathroom later anyway. Uh, that way, you just take a pick, pop it right out, and then you're good to go. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Uh, please rate, comment, subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so. And hit the bell notification button for more and up-and-coming video uh, notification when I upload. All right, thanks, and I'll catch you guys later.